Stake it up for this hit circuit and dumbbell strength training workout. What I have in store for you, we're gonna do a warm up, three exercises, two rounds, something to get you ready for what's to come. I'm gonna quickly go over the exercises that are in our hit circuit. So that's four exercises, three rounds of 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So 12 minutes of getting the heart rate up, burning the most, and making sure that you use your whole body. After that, small breather, and we're gonna do a strength training set with your dumbbells. Let's get started with that warm up. Grab a pair of your dumbbells. I use adjustable dumbbells throughout this workout, but if you have a pair of heavy and light, have those ready. Maybe if you have a kettlebell, a weight plate, you never know when you're gonna use them. 10 RDLs. Feet hip width apart, soft knees. I'm gonna hinge from my hips, load the hammies, load the glutes, and the low back. Keep your cone, keep your own count. Ten total. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go, 10. Next, what we're gonna do, predator jacks. So bottom position, it's gonna be arms open and the legs open like a sumo squat, okay? So bottom position, arms open, come together at the top. Again, 10 total, keep your own count, let's go. One more. Whew. Okay, maybe on the ground. Push ups are next. First set, I'm gonna show modified push ups with my knees down. If you do unassisted push ups, rock those, okay? So come down with me. From here, I'm gonna come up on all fours extended and I'm gonna drop my knees straight down. I want your chest and the hips coming out at the same time, okay? So work your brace, work on opening up that chest. Let's go. There we go. Round one of your warm up. It's just about getting the blood pumping, easing into it. Round two, make it a little more dynamic. Maybe get a little heavier weight. Maybe make sure that, that blood is going and you feel ready. Let's go, 10 RDLs. Set up from the bottom, rock it. Oh yeah, that's great. Woo. Predator jacks, 10 total. Maybe make them a little more dynamic this time. Keep your count. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. On the ground. <sighs> okay, so with your push-ups here, if you're doing assisted, rock your assisted. I'm gonna get back to unassisted, 10 total. Okay, sip of water, towel if you need it. Make sure that when our circuit does start, you're ready. You're 20 seconds, you're getting ready for your exercise. You need a sip, take a quick sip. 
First exercise, close push-ups. Second, chest press, plank rows, and then Russian twist. If you didn't notice, all on the ground, okay? So get weights ready. If you need both of your weights close by, have them, okay? So first off, close push-ups. With those, some people will do diamond push-ups. I keep my hands about a foot apart. I feel like if you need to make them wider, maybe you got shoulder issues, do whatever you need to do. If you need to modify with the knees down, we already practice those. So close push-ups, get your hands set, elbows come tight into the body, okay? Set up at an even bigger angle, tight to the body. It's still working on bringing that chest and hips down at the same time. After that, after we've tired out, started to tire out our triceps and our chest. Chest press. My weights are facing in, especially since I'm limited on space with the ground there. Elbows touch, drive up. I just want a controlled pace. You're repping it out, but repping with control. Don't just aimlessly press it like that. Control throughout. Lastly, or sorry, not lastly, nah. Plank rows. Plank position. And from here, feet wide in the back. Row. Bro, what you wanna make sure with that one, if you feel unstable, take those feet wide. Really emphasize having that brace so that you're not overly rotate. Yes, there's gonna be some compensation with it, but try not to do too much. Lastly, Russian twists. You can either do them weighted or unweighted. Remember my class, I want those heels dug down, chest up, set up before. I don't want you rounded. You're doing one of these numbers. Set yourself up. Really work your abdominal brace if you're doing without weight. Reach side to side while you keep that posture. It's much more beneficial if you're using weight. Hands on each side. Same concept. Brace and posture over everything. It's not a rep one. It's as much abdominal pressure you can keep while extending that weight, whether it's your hands or the weight away from your body. Let's get ready. Okay, lock in mentally. You press play already. Give it your best effort. Oh yeah, that is a first exercise. The idea behind the programming on it was if you don't have as much weight, you could stack muscle groups, still get a great effect. Listen for that bell. You hear that bell, you go. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 This is gonna be a good challenge here. Go over some mods here. Let's go. 
Let's say that is a hard position. Yes, drop your knees down, do your row, or if you need to, just go to plank hold. Either one's fine for me. I really just want to make sure that you get the most at that 40 seconds. You're doing something. You're not both taking a breather. hard part of that exercise will always be controlling it on the way down. Try not to just let that weight fall. As we were talk, or talked about with the Russian twist, your brace is the key. I'm gonna do unweighted here with my Russian twist. Working my posture, warming it up. Trying to get a full 40 here. Challenging round one. I'll admit it. That's what we want, right? We want a challenge. Come on, team. Pro tip that I always throw in work those fingertips on that way down. Press your fingertips into the ground it helps me stay braced Just listen for the bell, come on. Get into position between sets. I want your weight. Feeling five times ever here. stack there used to have a similar one in the gym oh, come on I feel that struggle holding your body weight up here Sweat, waterfall initiated. Oh yeah. I'm gonna do body weight again on the Russian twist. You do you. Remember, 
Set up. Always go. Heels. Chest up. Just my arms holding those up. Come on, team. Oh, yeah. I love it. Love the sweat party. Whew. Round three, champions round. Shaking there. <laughs> I saw this headline. I think it was on our Alexa and saying how somebody held like a four minute plank. Woo. 40 seconds there. With all this stacked together, I think we can do it. Right, team? Oh, man, holding these weights. Oh, that's a good burn. Oh. Mega challenge. Sweat everywhere. One more here. Setup. Always take that extra time to go through your setup with your Russian twist. Oh, my hands, my arms, my guilt. Come on, all the way to the end. Oh, I felt like one of my hands was carrying the other one through that. <laughs> oh, love it. Love the struggle. Okay, small breather.
So we just did four on the ground, four standing. Goblet squat, 10. Eccentric bicep curl, six. Tricep kickback, eight. And bent over rows, 10. Okay, so interchange when you need to. First set, I'm gonna go through the cues with you and then we rev it up. We try to limit our breaks below 30 on rounds two and three, okay? Get a leg weight. Goblet squat. Goblet part is up the top here. Then goblet cup. From there, sit the hips back. And this is gonna force you to really emphasize that brace, which we want, okay? Keep the feet fully on the ground, full contact. Keep your count, 10 total. Oh yeah. Arm weight. With your arm weight, grab something that you do biceps with that is a challenge for you. That if you were doing 10 reps, it'd be a challenge on that 10. You'll see why here. So eccentric bicep curls, what that means, we're gonna go strong up, palms up, but then slow on the way down. I want you to feel every inch of that way down. Stay braced, that's the key. Brace those abdominals. The second you drop that, you're gonna fall, that chest is gonna just collapse down, okay? Six total. Up strong, slow. Every single inch, that's one. Yeah, Woo. okay. After everything we just did with the upper body, with the triceps, I would get a light tricep weight, even though it's eight, okay? So that bottom position of that RDL that we did in the warm up. So my feet, the bruise apart. I'm gonna hinge from my hips. Load the hamies, load the glutes, low back, brace from there. Elbow someone in the gut, reach back, control it on the way back down. Keep your count, eight total. Whew. Jelly arms. Just back way here, same bottom position that we just did. But this time I want you to think putting your weights into your side pocket here. Bottom position, weights in that side pocket, retract the shoulders, 10 total. Oh yeah. Not gonna lie, forgot my towel, 100%. <laughs> Round two. Like I said, minimize those breaks. Let's keep that heart rate elevated. Get the most of this workout session, okay? That's how you do it. Minimize those breaks, keep moving, drop the ego. If you feel like, oh, I used to do more weight in XYZ, that's not what we're here. That's how we're here for. We're here to burn, get healthier, get fit. Weight up, let's go. 
10, goblet squats. Adjust your weights if you need to. I did a cycle workout last night with my buddy Joe Alvarado. I think my legs, I was wondering. Bicep curls, come on, kill every inch. Backs. Keep that flow. Keep that intensity. Come on. Take me back into your arms. I want to dance with you, my love. And be next to you with the stars. Give me one more chance, my love. Take me back into your arms. I feel like when I reach that end position of that tricep extension. My tricep is thinking, what are you doing? Why are you doing that to us? Don't you like us? That dough we house, 10. Come on. Round two. Okay. One more round here. Keep that same intensity. You know your cues. You know where you could potentially push it a little bit further on your weights if you want to, okay? Goblet squat. Round three. Let's go, champions. Brace during your squats, not just those ones. Such a big key for protecting your back. Bicep curls, six. Six. <sighs> Got a little too heavier weight there. My triceps would have not been happy. Kickbacks. Pretty positive. I did two extra there. But I'm not mad about it. Bent over rows. 
Last 10 here. Come on, team. Oh. What I was thinking about there was I might have got this dumbbell workout to another 30 before this got actually going. I had a bunch of mess ups on this and that's not the point of the story I want to tell, but it's I want you to have fun. That's why I'm sharing this. I messed up, still having fun with this workout and probably got it under 30, I don't know yet. But you're having fun, hopefully coming back for that next workout. Hopefully you're subscribed, you're dropping a comment and went for that next release. Keep showing up, keep working hard. I'll see you next time.